Good morning, everyone. This is Ms. Seishu, teacher in the Wave Private School, Biology Grade 11. So today's topic is Transport in Mammals. Reference is course book, page number 156. Let us recall the lesson in last class. So we have learned that types of vessels in the circulatory system. We have three types of blood vessels those are arteries capillaries and veins so we have learned this these three blood vessels in the last class today we are going to learn about the structures of each blood vessel i mean arteries capillaries and veins so let us have a look structure of arteries First, the blood vessel we are taking arteries. Here you can see the structure. It's a ring-like structure. It is the transfer section of the blood vessel artery. By taking the section of the artery, you can see all the parts visibly. So here you can see smooth muscle, external elastic membrane. This is the external elastic membrane. This is the smooth muscle. And here you can see internal elastic membrane. Lastly, you can see endothelium. So these are collectively called as tunica intima. This is the endothelium layer is also called as tunica intima. And then the inner thick layer you can see here. This is the thick layer present in the artery. This is called tunica media. And the last part, the outermost layer is called tunica externa. So relatively you can see here this is the lumen part. This is the lumen it is maintains it maintains a high blood pressure and also here you can see the muscle contracts to decrease the size of the lumen. This causes an increased blood pressure and therefore maintains a high blood pressure between the pulses of high pressure blood traveling from to from the heart. And then Elastic fibers stretch to increase the lumen with each pulse of blood. After the pulse of blood passes the fibers recoiling, decreasing the lumen size and therefore helping to maintain a high blood pressure. Here you can see this is the tunica media. This is the thick layer, this thick muscular wall and fibrous outer layer helps the artery to withstand high pressure. So next we are moving on to the blood vessel vein. Now we are looking the structure of the veins. Here you can see under high power microscope you can see the structure of the vein like this. This is named as outer coat and ne next one smooth muscle elastic fibers basement membrane endothelium and then valve here you can see in the lumen you can see a special structure called valve this is this is present because of the low pressure in veins there is a possibility of backflow here veins have valves at intervals that prevent the blood the blood pressure So just move on to the third blood vessel called capillaries. Here you can see the small blood vessel it is looking like a thin tube. So it's having a very small lumen and wall made of a single layer of cell. And when compared to the artery and the vein you can see a small lumen in the uh, artery and in the vein you can see a large lumen. This is the difference you can identify. Next, move on to the types of blood vessels and their function, what they are doing. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Arterioles control blood flow from arteries to capillaries. Capillaries link arterioles to venules. Venules link capillaries to veins. Veins carry blood towards the heart. 
so as we have learned about what the function of the blood vessels so this is the way the blood taking from the heart and to the heart the aorta before the arteries is present the aorta is taking the blood from the heart and sending it to the arteries then to the arterioles from here a network of vessels called capillaries this is the connection between arteries and the veins or called capillaries these are the capillaries serves the tissues and cells of the body the blood is under low pressure now and as usual to the heart the blood is carried to the heart by the vena cava through the veins and the venules so here you can see the aorta receives blood pumped from the heart in a pulse then carried by the arteries and then for the arterioles these arterioles deliver blood to the tissues then from here the vena cava brings the blood to the heart from veins and the venules so the venules collect the blood from the tissues they formed they are formed by the union of several capillaries under pressure about 15 mm of hemoglobin from the venules the blood is transferred to the veins these veins receive blood from the tissues under low pressure the veins become wider so lowering pressure and increasing the flow of blood flow of rate so finally take down the notes for structure of arteriole and structure of venule here you can see thicker muscle layer than arteries muscle and elastic layers thinner elastic layer than artery similar to veins but lumen in smaller in the arteriole can constrict to control blood flow through capillary in the venules can constrict to control blood flow through capillary so take down in the notebook that's all for today have a good day